Okay, so we're in the classroom, and when we first sit down to write, we enter into the world of ideas. What do we enter into? The world of ideas. Now, the first thing that we'll be drawn to when we enter into this special world is what I like to call big ideas. Big ideas are the opposite of read that it says little little ideas so we're dividing ideas into two basic categories big and little now before we dive any deeper the first thing that people say after we go through this is wow so big ideas are bad no I'm not I'm not saying big ideas are bad I'm just saying that they're big and if you look at the target word count for this narrative essay there's no way to do justice to big ideas. But the word count we have is not big, it's little, so we have to center on little ideas. So, for big ideas, these are major life events, okay? And one way to think about major life events these are generally what we call milestones. So as we, we go through life, we set goals and then we work towards them, right? And then we reach that goal and then we work towards another one, right? Milestones, that'd be an example of milestones or major life events, such as, so these are all different examples of Big ideas, major life events, right? Birth, death, marriage, divorce, right? Probably seeing a general trend here, as well as a, a milestone event would be something that we all have in common regardless of when it happened to you, would be high school graduation. Now, right, so these are all big ideas. Why are they big? If you take a look at them, right, these different things, they're so big and there's often lots of emotions that are intertwined into it. And one thing that's really hard to do is to make emotions concrete, right? So that's one thing to be on the lookout for. Also, the time frame for big ideas is way too long. Now, watch this. If we think about this idea, high school graduation, right? What's the time frame of high school graduation? And a lot of people say, well, when I graduated, the ceremony lasted about two hours. And I say, well, wait a second. That is the graduation ceremony. What did it take to graduate from high school, right? Think about that. Yeah, it took 12 years to graduate from high school. And if you look at the, the word count for this narrative essay, if you are able to summarize 12 years of your life within that, that target word count, man, you have not been living. Another example of uh, a big idea would be religious salvation, being saved. A lot of people say, oh, I can, I can write about being saved within that word count, Mr. K. And I always say, if, if, if you can write about being saved, right, within that little target word count, which is really not that much, you haven't been saved. So now, we have to remember that when we sit down to write, the first thing 
that pops into our mind is what? A big idea, okay? So what do we have to do with big ideas? We have to remember that they cannot fit into the target word count frame of this narrative essay. And instead, what we have to have is we have to have a little idea. Now, if you remember back four minutes ago when we started talking, I said, a lot of people say, so I can't write about these? No, you can write about these things, right? Now, these things here, if, if you're an avid reader like I am, these things here are often the subjects of books, right? For example, there was a, when my daughters were still in high school, they brought home a book that they had to read for high school called Fault in Our Stars. You might have heard about it, it was turned into a movie. And I always like to, to read the books that my daughters are reading so I can see what ideas are coming to, into their heads. So I read through that book and it's, it's, it's a really good book, by the way, The Fault in Our Stars. And what is it about? It's about two teenagers who have cancer, right? And then what happens? They fall in love and then one of them dies. Boom, right? So love and death. Now, how many pages is The Fault in Our Stars? Several hundred pages. You can write about a big idea, but you're gonna need a lot more than just the you know, several hundred words that we have for the narrative essay. Likewise, I've read many good books about religious awakenings, right? Being saved, religious salvation. But it's not several hundred words, it's several hundred pages. So please remember, that these big ideas, they're, they're not bad ideas, they're just big, they're big. And in order to do justice to them and fully explore, you're gonna need hundreds of pages. So with that in mind, we have to turn away from big ideas and now talk about little ideas and where we can find little ideas.